Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be installing the Oracle Lighting LED Triple Fog Light Kit on a modular bumper of a 2021 Ford Bronco. Let's get to it! The kit is pre-assembled and mounted in powder coated stainless steel brackets. It also includes a wiring harness, which allows you to use your auxiliary switches or the included switch on the harness. The first thing you need to do is remove these three Bronco bolts on the underside of the opening to the fog light. The fog light is really easy to install. Slide it in here underneath the bumper and then use the three Bronco bolts to secure it back into place. And then simply repeat the process on the other side. All right, so what I'm gonna attempt here is to wire up the, uh, the fog lights. With this harness, this is the, uh, the fuse, relay, and the switch. And uh, for the auxiliary switches, we don't actually need any of this. So I've got the two cables here with the connectors. They're over here. Just pull them off to one side. I'm basically gonna end up just cut, cutting these here. I'm gonna tap into the uh, auxiliary power switch right here. And then up at the back here, we've got the uh, the purple wire that's here. It runs all the way to about here, and we're going to attach it to that yellow wire right there. Hopefully it's going to be easy, so let's give it a go. I started by routing the harness underneath the airbox intake. And then this connector, I'm going to feed it all the way down here. So let's see if we can see in here. Just down there in that hole, it goes all the way down. I pretty much let the weight of the connector pull the harness down through this hole. You can see the connector, so just give it a gentle pull. And join the harness and the fog light connector together. I added some electrical tape to just go around those exposed wires. And again, do the same thing on the driver's side.
And here I'm zip tying the harness in a couple of spots just to make sure it doesn't move around. So this is where it gets real. So if we follow the wires, this is the one from the, uh, from the passenger side. This is the one from the driver's side. So these are the wires we need and we're gonna hook them to the auxiliary switch. So we follow them all the way back up to the top of the harness here. And we're basically gonna cut all this off. This is the main switch that comes with it. This is the, re the relay and uh, the fuse. So we're just gonna cut this off right here so basically what i've done here is uh, this wire i have just snicked it slightly pulled out the red and the reason for that is so that i can just wire it up right here like that but leave it sheathed over to where i'm going to ground it same goes for the uh driver's side. I just worked out where I'm going to pull it out to hook it up to this purple wire and then left enough sheath so when this goes back it's going to uh, be protected as it's wired up. And here I'm just stripping the ends of the red wires. take the two red wires together to make this just a little bit easier. Don't forget to add some heat shrink tubing. Push the red wires into your buck connector and crimp them together. And then do the same with the purple wire. Slide the heat shrink tubing over the buck connector. Heat it up and let it do its job. And now I'm joining the two black ground wires together. And again, don't forget your heat shrink tubing. And I added a connector just so I can ground it easier. After shrinking the tubing, I added some electrical tape just to finish it all off.
using a 13 mm socket wrench, you can undo this grounding bolt near the battery and then attach your ground wires. I went back over the red exposed wires with some electrical tape. I tied up any excess cable with some zip ties. This is a tough area to film, but what I'm doing here is removing the black ends of the yellow and the purple wires. I've already put a butt connector onto the end of the yellow wire. And now I'm putting the purple wire into the other end of the butt connector. And again, don't forget to add some heat shrink tubing. Here I'm just sliding the heat shrink tubing into place. Once the heat shrink tubing is in place, you can just go over it and shrink it down to its uh, reduced size. Here you can see how I've run the harness. It's nice and tidy, and it's uh, zip tied down, so hopefully it shouldn't move around. And here's the yellow and purple wire connected up. So here's the moment of truth. There you go, another install, a little bit more time consuming this time, but nevertheless, still fairly simple. Um, I absolutely love these lights. I think they're fantastic. Uh, they're some of the best looking ones out there. Uh, in the comments below, let me know if you agree or if you think there's better options. Uh, bear in mind, these are fog lights. They're not off-road lights. So uh, they're DOT approved or D DOT compliant. And um, yeah, if you'd like the video, if you found it useful, hooking up to the auxiliary switches, uh, like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.